Welcome to Fast German from Speaksly.com. Hello. Hi. No one really likes studying grammar, so we'll try to help you learn German pronouns as quickly as possible. When I talk about myself, I use the word I as the subject of the sentence. In German, it's Ich. 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 I. I'm a man. I am a man. Ich bin ein Mann. Ich bin ein Mann. Ich bin ein Mann. I am a woman. I am a woman. Ich bin eine Frau. Ich bin eine Frau. Ich bin eine Frau. In German, there are two words for you. When you is the subject of the sentence. The first form of you is the formal one, which is sie. 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 You are a man. You are a man. Sie sind ein Mann. Sie sind ein Mann. Sie sind ein Mann. You are a woman. You are a woman. Sie sind eine Frau. Sie sind eine Frau. Sie sind eine Frau. The informal way to say you in German is du. 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 You are a woman. You are a woman. Informal. Du bist eine Frau. Du bist eine Frau. Du bist eine Frau. You are a man. You are a man. Informal. Du bist ein Mann. Du bist ein Mann. Du bist ein Mann. When the subject of a sentence is he, the German pronoun is er. 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 He is a man. He is a man. Er ist ein Mann. Er ist ein Mann. Er ist ein Mann. When the subject of the sentence is she, the German pronoun is sie. 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 She is a woman. She is a woman. Sie ist eine Frau. Sie ist eine Frau. Sie ist eine Frau. When the subject is not male or female, the German pronoun for it is s s s. The plant is green. Die Pflanze ist grün. Die Pflanze ist grün. Yes, it is green. Yes, it is green. Ja, es ist grün. Ja, es ist grün. Ja. Es ist grün. The German pronoun for we is wir. 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 We are married. We are married. Wir sind verheiratet. Ja, wir sind verheiratet. When you are talking about other people and want to use the pronoun they as the subject of the sentence, the German word is the same as the pronoun for she, which is sie. 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 I love talking about other people. Um, that's not very nice, hun. Anyway, they are loud. They are loud. Sie sind laut. Sie sind laut. Sie sind laut. Hey, keep it down. Ja, sie sind laut. In English, we normally just say you when we're talking to a group of people. In Texas, they say Y'all, which is slang for you all. In German, the pronoun for you all is ihr, ihr, ihr. Are you going? And by you, I mean all of you. Geht ihr? Geht ihr? Geht ihr? Do you smoke? Raucht ihr? Raucht ihr? You learn something new about your husband every day. That's what? Makes marriage exciting, hun. I don't like surprises, hun. All of the pronouns we just covered were when a pronoun is the subject of the sentence. Technically, that was called the nominative form of the pronoun. The way that I remember this is to think of the word name, because in the Latin language, nom means name. So, I tell myself, its name is nom. Hi, I'm nom. My name is nom. It is nom. Now let's practice each nominative pronoun. Remember, 
These are the ones that act as the subject of a sentence. Go ahead and start, hun. I. Ich. You. Formal. Sie. And don't forget that it's always capitalized. He. Er. She. Sie. It. S. We. Wir. They. I know, this is confusing, but it's the same pronoun as the formal you, and also, she. It's. Sie. You. All. Ihr. That's it for now. We hope that. Y'all. Know how to use pronouns as the subject of a sentence. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Make sure to download our free app. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. Honey, say goodbye to the Speaksly fans. Honey. Oh. Sorry. These Speaksly videos are so awesome. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen, y'all. This was Fast German from Speaksly.com.